internationally for its incredible architecture. Um, I've been very blessed to grow up within a relatively close proximity to my entire family. Uh, we get together as frequently as possible, and even those who live out of town make an effort to come back to Buffalo at least once a month. Uh, and once a year, we get together, our entire extended family, to uh, spend about a week or uh, even a long weekend together and just celebrate. So back in 2007, I graduated from the University at Buffalo, uh, which is close to my home. Um, I graduated with a finance degree and concentrating also in marketing and chemistry. And a big part of my collegiate career and still a big part of my life is the International Professional Business Fraternity of Delta Sigma Pi. Um, it was sponsored through the university and it was strictly professional, but uh, I've um, accumulated most of my lifelong friends through that professional organization and I'm very proud to be a member of it. Uh, currently, I work for a company called CGI. Uh, we're an international IT company that has about 72,000 employees, including two offices here in the Philippines. Um, I work in the U.S. Federal Housing Division of that com company, so I'm a consultant that provides comprehensive services to owners and managing agents of subsidized housing projects. Um, I do everything from strategic management and planning to um, initial startup and development all the way to uh, fiscal and contractual compliance. Since I've been at CGI, I've obtained two professional designations, um, Certified Associate of Project Management, which allows me to manage uh, projects for the U.S. government, um, and Certified Occupancy Specialist, which allows me to audit federally subsidized housing projects. When I'm not at work, um, I enjoy a variety of outdoor activities primarily. Um, like Kristen said, we have a long winter period, so uh, you either love it or you hate it, and I think we all pretty much love it. Um, so I love skiing, snowshoeing, doing anything outdoors, um, camping, spending time with my family, and uh, wineries, since we have so many great ones in the U.S. and Canada. One of my newest passions that I recently found is running. So if I did not get selected to be part of this team, I was actually scheduled to run a marathon, so I'm very, very happy that I got selected, got me out of that one. <laughs> um, and without further ado, I'll introduce Michelle Sass. I live in a small community of about 11,000 people in Paris, Ontario. And Paris is known for its historical buildings, uh, picturesque views. I'm right here in the bottom corner. You'll see a picture of my home, where I've lived for 14 years now. This is a photo of my family. My husband works for a local business that manufactures playground equipment and uh, a lot of park furnishings, park benches, garbage cans, and stuff like that. Next one is my youngest son, Cameron. He's 14 years old, and he will be attending high school in September. So he's not my baby anymore. And I have a 21-year-old son next to him. His name's Dylan, and he is working in construction right now and hopes to gain an apprenticeship. This is my, uh, the top left corner there is my husband's family. And the bottom right hand corner is my family, my mom and dad, Michael and Benita. And I'm the oldest of four children. I have my brother Eric, Nick, and my youngest sister, Christine. And I consider my pets to be part of my family as well. So there I have a picture of my cat, Leaky, and my dog, Juno. I graduated from the Law and Security Program at Conestoga College, and I'm currently employed as a security officer for the Ontario Lottery and Gaming Corporation in, at the Brantford Casino. I've been there for 13 years now, and the casino there is one of the Brantford's uh, largest employers. We employ over 900 employees. And aside from assuring the safety and security of all uh, staff and guests, I'm also an emergency medical responder there, trained to deal with any medical situation that arises in the casino. 
such as heart attacks, stroke, diabetes. I take care of those people until the paramedics arrive and are able to transport them to the hospital. I volunteer with the Ontario Provincial Police. I started out with the Ontario Provincial Police uh, 15 years ago. You'll see I'm the smallest person there in uniform. That photo was taken about 15 years ago. So as a security officer, I, or, sorry, an auxiliary officer, I'm uh, required to do 10 hours of patrol a month with a regular officer and eight hours of in-house training. Our uniform is exactly the same as a, a regular member, other than I don't carry a firearm, but I'm fully trained to operate firearms. There's a picture of a detachment, and there's a picture of me training in my firearm training. The one thing that I really love about auxiliary is that it gets us really involved in our community. Every year around Christmas time, we help out local food banks. We'll drive the cruisers to the local food bank, or the local grocery stores, and people will come out of the grocery store and fill the car with food. And then we'll drive the car to the local food banks for assistance for family needs. And this is a little picture of my son who likes to dress up in my uh, uniform there. And aside from being a full-time employee, of, I volunteer in the community, I'm uh, really active in my son's uh, sports, especially hockey. I'm a very dedicated hockey mom. Those are my boys who play hockey there, and I enjoy watching them play so much that uh, they've inspired me to play as well, and I've been playing now for a little under a year. So the guys at work found out that I played, and this is a picture of them. They asked me to join their tournament. I also enjoy, uh, we have a family uh, vacation home about five hours from my house, which we enjoy attending. And another thing I love to do is gardening and taking walks along with all the many trails that are located in my community. Thank you. I'd like to turn it over to Kristen now. Thanks, Michelle. My name is Kristen Smith, uh, as you know, and I'm sponsored by the St. Catharines Club, uh, or the Rotary Club of St. Catharines South. I'd like to show you a little bit about my home. I opted for a snow photo, as I mentioned, and uh, right now we probably have several inches of snow blanketing our home at this point. Um, particularly because we're located in the wine region, in the Niagara region. Um, the upper photo is of the hardest scene of grapes during the winter. So it's about minus eight outside. Um, people gather in the evening to pick grapes um, for ice wine, which makes for a really sweet uh, syrup-like wine um, that's just for sipping for dessert. So a very much a specialty, and we have award-winning wineries in the Niagara region. My actual hometown is Thold. Uh It's a very small community, about 18,000 people. And I'm about two blocks away from the Welland Canal. So we have a number of, it's the St. Lawrence Seaway, and we have a number of large cargo ships as well as recreational ships going through the canal on a daily basis. And I know that there's some ships that are actually traveling from the Philippines that travel through that seaway as well. Um, we're known for our tender fruit, um, so there's a lot of green space very close to my home. And so we grow anything from cherries and peaches to tender fruit in the spring and summer. Uh, also, as, as the other two teammates have mentioned, my family is very important to me. I have a small family, and I grew up in a town uh, called Tilsenburg, and it's about the same size as my current community, about 18,000 people. And I do get together with my extended family as much as we can to celebrate occasions. Um, as a student, I, I attended Brock University in St. Catharines, Ontario, and I work there as an employee now. Um, the school at the time was about 10,000 students, and as you can see, we have a very green campus. We're located in a UNESCO biosphere uh, along the Niagara Escarpment. So very fortunate um, and kind of cliche that sometimes when I walk out to my car, there are deer uh, standing by my vehicle when I get there. So sounds cliche, but it's true. Uh, so that's Brock University. Uh, these are some of the people that I work for. Uh, I work in a student community outreach. So anytime when students are volunteering,